Welcome to the Upstream Podcast. I'm your host, Ty. I'm here with my boy, Grant Fish. And today, we have a very good buddy of mine, Stefan Kluver. What's up? Did I say that last? Kluver. 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 Okay. How do you say it? Kluver. Kluver. I feel like you... Okay, well, let's start Let's start back a little bit. Where are you uh, from? I was born in uh, Lima, Peru, South America. Okay. Uh, you got the, you, you have that little nice accent on things. Well, there's like a combination of being trilingual and growing up in Boston. So there's like a mesh. Trilingual, though? Mm-hmm. What do you speak? In Italian and Spanish on top of English. What's the biggest difference between Italian and Spanish? I'm sure there's a huge difference. I'm just a dumbass. Yeah, well, mostly everything will be the root of Latin, right? So it'll be a lot easier for me to learn Portuguese or French than any other language because it all ties in. What was your first language? Spanish. Okay. And then what made you pick up Italian? Uh, Well, my mom and my stepdad spoke Italian all the time because he's from Italy. Mm-hmm. He is so Italian. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so thick. And my mom knew Italian. So at home, they would just speak Italian. Gotcha. So, so I kind of just, just picked, picked it up. up. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll take it. So I took it in eighth grade. And then I went to Italian honors in high school, which I did at all high school. Is that something you put on your resume? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Like when you're trilingual, they'll pick you up for other jobs, like mostly like hotel jobs and mm. stuff like that. Do you like Airport. Mexican food or Italian food the most? Italian, uh, for sure. Tacos? I like tacos, but I like spending less time in the toilet than I already do. So I get that. Italian yeah. is the way to go. Yeah. I get that. I feel like pastafarian. Uh, <laughs> pastafarian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. The spaghetti monster all day. There's a. Uh, there's correlations between the two foods, I'd say. Like a stromboli is like an Italian burrito almost. More like a calzone. No, calzone that's like a very burrito. large empanada, you know? Yeah. We're like, going to go enjoy one? Dude, I'm down. That's so good. Good. Fuck this podcast. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody um, post made some empanadas, please. Oh, is that a possibility? Yeah. Someone should make that happen. The post made anything. Just right in the middle of it. Yeah. Show up. Interview the post. Have an experience. Guy. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, thank you for coming on on the show. I know yeah. that we talked about it for a while, but um, we have a little thing that we do here. We're gonna pour up some some. Well, I guess it's up to your choice. We have uh, a bullet and Jim Beam. I'll take the one that's not in a plastic bottle. There you go. <laughs> hey, don't don't hit on plastic bottles. Dude. We're we're not we're not a, above plastic bottles. Look, if you cut on production just for bottling, I'm not gonna drink it. If we cut production just for no, bottling? they do. Oh, I put it. Bu- I put it behind the bullet on purpose. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pour it up. Uh, okay, so you, we have you here on the show today because you, you, your profession or or what you're aspiring to be, mm-hmm. and you have obviously been into tattoos for a minute. I can I can see by your yeah your arms and whatnot. Uh, for longer than you probably think, honestly. What when does that start? Dude, I think I was five. Five? Yeah, I know Wait, shit. When like you first I was got your tattoo? Uh, no, got your first no, I tattoo? didn't, I yeah, didn't I get like, tattooed when I was five. How do they do things yeah. in Peru? <laughs> no. like, yeah, I was five. Was full on tattoo no, my artist. first interest was sitting at my beach house with my uncle, and he just kind of posted, and just he was drinking his beer, and I look over, and I just see this blob of ink on his shoulder, and I was like, what's that? He's like a tattoo. And I was like, well, how how'd you get that? And just started asking like little kid questions, but mm-hmm. questions that he wasn't expe- like expecting. The five year old, why? <laughs> no, why? but it was more of like, <laughs> like how did it feel? Yeah. What's the process? What'd you do during it? He was like, I read a magazine, bro. I was like, oh, okay. But I was like, I want one. Did he Can do I it himself one? or did he go and get no, it? No, he went to a shop, okay. which is back then it's so taboo to even get a tattoo. Even now, mm-hmm. like you go to Peru, not a lot of people have tattoos. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, it's very hard to like. You have to find a shop. Do you stand out? Not just advertise. Yeah. Well, I stand out most places I go, anyways. But in Peru, it's much more. Mm -hmm. You know, especially people don't have gauges in Peru. I was gonna gonna be my second question. So, I guess punk culture, Mm -hmm. how we would look at it here, uh, that's not very. Oh, it's heavy. It's very heavy. Like metal culture, punk culture, all that rock in Peru is probably one of the heaviest match with like reggaeton and i've all heard that, that, that music. but they don't they don't dress they don't the yeah no they, they'll dress the part but they won't modify their bodies hmm. 
that's that not like, a thing. Okay, is that that it's a culture thing? Mm-hmm. Is it like a disrespect towards anything? Or no, it it's more of like your mom will beat your ass if you do it, <laughs> and most people still live it's with their parents. Just old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there, it's different. Like here, you grow Tradition. up thinking like yeah, different traditions. Like mm-hmm. here, at eighteen, you're like, "Peace out, mom. I'm going to college." Yeah. In Peru, you live with your mom until your mom dies, and then you keep the house. Huh? You have your kids there and everything. Like they're big houses, you know, but. My mom bounced when she was like 19. Right. So she broke the the culture barrier or whatever. So what brought you to to here then if if Oh, my mom remarried. Okay, gotcha. So and that's where my step that comes to the picture and then we moved to Massachusetts. So. I can't I can't see you in Boston. Maybe it's because like I've known you being in Arizona, but like I just feel like that's a weird place for you to be. I mean, it's a weird place to be here for me. Yeah. Because it's so open and quiet. Like I like sitting. How long were you in Boston for? 2006 to 2013. Gotcha. So you've been both places. Seven about years. About equal. Yeah. Equal, equal time. Uh-huh. Which one do you like more? Uh, here. Here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't have to shovel snow for shit. Oh yeah. Man, yeah. Just gotta burrow through heat. the two months of ch- yeah. But I rather get up 15 minutes earlier to cool off my car than shovel for two hours to then leave. I don't even know what that looks like. I've been in Arizona my whole life. I spent uh, some time in Texas, but even then we didn't really have, we one, maybe two days of snow. And out here, we never get snow. You have to go up north for that. So every time I've heard stories about people shoveling, I'm like, can't be that bad. They're like, no, it sucks. (laughs) (laughs) I made bank shoveling streets as a kid. Like you just, on that snow day, the school's like, yo, no school. I'm like, sweet. So my buddy has a snowblower. I grab a shovel. I do the walkway and the stairs and he does the driveway. Like a hundred bucks a house little takes us thirty hustle. minutes. There you go. Yeah. Side hustle. You take a day. Down. We each make like four or five hundred bucks. Fuck That's bike yeah, parts. Dude. We're That's riding it. downtown Boston. Yeah. So, you uh, going back to the your your tattooing? You expressed interest when you were super young. When did you get your first tattoo? I was seventeen. Ooh, a year. So under, I went. Huh? I left Massachusetts to go visit my dad, and I was like, "Yo, I want to get a tattoo." He's like, "Sure." I just want to go. I'm like, all right. So we went to the artist that tattooed my dad's band. And so he had, he did the two stripes with a scythe. That that your, so that was your first Yeah, one? that was the first one. It goes all the way into almost my wrist. Okay. And he's like, keep it above the elbow. And I was like, nah, we'll get it right here. I might be 17, be stupid. Just get it right there. Yeah. In the middle of the whole arm. Right. And I obviously didn't turn out the wrist, sleeve. So it's yeah. Like, yeah. And he's like, you got to make sure you do color. And I was like, why? He's like, this collar's good. I was like, sure, I guess if you're giving me permission, I might as well fucking do it. And I got it at 17. And I don't think I got on my next tattoo for another year until I was 18. I've always been a fan of color tattoos. Like when I eventually do a whole Mm -hmm. sleeve here, I want it all colorful. Um, I just, not that I have anything against ones that aren't. But when I, I mean, look at my fucking shirt. (laughs) You know, back then I only knew as black and gray tattoos as like prison tattoos. With a soft grays and not a lot of like heavy black work. But black work nowadays is impressive. Like very impressive. I look at it. You can control the levels of grays and black to create a dimension in the image, which it shows so much, like so much more dimensions than like details. When did you first pick up the needle? That's a really bad way to put that. Yeah. I apologize. Like, Whoa, man. <laughs> uh, Wh- which when did one? you first pick up the gun? Uh-oh. Also a bad way to put it. When did you start tattooing? <laughs> The machine. When did you, when'd you get at it? Uh, yeah. the, my first try, I was 19. I went to, I was going to the Art Institute of Phoenix, and I met my buddy, my buddy then, Simba, and he was like, yeah, I, I tattoo, and I was like, how the fuck do you just get tattoo stuff? He's like, go to the tattoo supply store and just buy it. So I put away like $180, bought a tattoo kit, all the cheap shit. A coil machine. Came with two, actually. I was like, fuck yeah. I got a liner and a shader. And I tattooed on practice skin. No knowledge. No books. No videos. I didn't study anything. I just grabbed it. And I was like, I've gotten three tattoos. I know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> so I um, I shaved a little spot on my thigh and tattooed a little bomb on it right here. And it looks like shit. But it's like <laughs> uh, a it's I mean, a black blob with a red dot because nice. it's on spark or whatever. No, it's bomb. Nailed it. It's the yeah, bomb. It's the bomb. The bomb. There you go. These uh, bomb thighs, bro. Well, <laughs> it's kind of weird to me to think of a, a tattoo shop or a tattoo uh, supply shop because I don't think anyone really thinks that there's a, a 
a spot. Obviously, it makes sense, but right. there's a spot that people go to buy They're tattoo hard to gear. By. You just think where people go to get the tattoos. The only one I know one is like the West Phoenix Tattoo Supply. And you, if you like walk in, it's like, you know. Uh, it's a store. There's like glass shelves and shit. And there's like machines, coil machines from the time that I went back then. Mm-hmm. I saw coil machines like ink bottles and, and needle uh, pouches or whatever. And I was like, hey, I just want a tattoo kit. And it was like 175 I think it was. And they came with a few colors, a few round liners, and then a few shaders, some flat shaders, which I didn't know what anything was. I just knew that I would watch my tattoo artist set up when he tattooed me. So I try to replicate the process. So I was like, okay, you do the rubber band because it pulls a needle, which helps it flatten out onto the, your tube. This is for coils, which is way too much work. I use a rotary now. So there's obviously different levels in, in guns and you know each machine has different machines. uh tuning for the coils you have to tune it according to how you tattoo and what you want to tattoo and your style of tattoo with uh rotaries they have different stroke setups and how it uh, affects the skin and packs the color and whatnot but back when i was 19 or seven six years ago i did it for all of like three months it wasn't even something i wanted to do i just wanted to try it out and I did a few tattoos here and there. And then I was like, oh, well, I suck. Fuck it. Put it in the bag and put it away. And I didn't think about tattooing until five months ago, six mm-hmm. months ago. Oh, wow. Just yeah. kind of like a hobby. Yeah. I, then I I was like, I want to try it out. I didn't like it. Now it was more of like, I'm going to fully dive in and see where this goes. And right. you've been I cranking s- them out ever since. I mean, I, I, yeah. I go on Instagram and see a new story from you. It's gotten to the point now day. that I don't have to advertise the tattoos. Usually I will put like, hey, I'm available Wednesday, Thursday. Let's book out those days. Now I'm getting booked a week before I even think about what I'm doing next week. That's awesome. People are like, you, what are you free next week? Next week. So this week I booked out about a week and a half out. So what kind of pieces are you doing? Like what, what would you classify your style as, your art style? Uh, the most predominant style that I'm pushing right now is Japanese traditional. Which oh, is what nice. people are liking the most. Yeah. You know, I've put out a few pieces and they're like, that's sick. Let's do another one. I'm like, all right. I cater more for color. Uh, I really enjoy neo traditional as well. What is that? Neo traditional. So, this traditional American, right? Which is what I have right here. The, the structure of an American traditional tattoo is going to be one line work, uh, one thickness, right? For all the lines, you have two to three, four basic colors red, green, yellow, maybe blue. And then that's your layout. It's more of like a, a just basic drawing. Neo traditional, you're in tr- like you're adding three to four line widths, so it creates dimension within the the piece, and you're pushing different colors, different uh, pastels and okay. different types of colors to create more of a realistic image while staying with the traditional uh, idea. Neo stands for new. You know, it's new traditional. So are you going back and forth between those or? or when you practice or you're drawing or you're coming uh-huh. up with new designs, those are the ones you're kind of flirting in between? It's, it's a, I think it's a mesh. It's a mesh of Neo and Japanese because I enjoy the Japanese um, art a lot. It's a lot of fun to tattoo, but I think incorporating those dimensions adds a little more body to it. Mm-hmm. Like I did a flower yesterday on my buddy Zach where he's working on his Japanese sleeve, which he has a henya mask already on his calf, and we did a flower right on his knee. But the leaves, yeah. not the petals, but the knees, the leaves were neo-traditional style. So there was a blend of three colors just on the one leaf. It was dope. a dark green, a lime green, and a yellow to the tip. As opposed to in Japanese, it's just green. Oh, when I think of a tattoo on the knee, that just oh, he did very not have painful. Fun. He sat like a champ, but he did not have fun at all. Nice. I think one the hour in, he's like, this is like would be the least painful for me. You think so? Yeah. Right yeah. on the bone? I would think Rattle like, you to your core? Like the armpit or like the chest would hurt the most. The chest hurt like a bitch. Yeah. Not my side chest, like the centerpiece. Somewhere right where there's not a lot. Oh, I mm-hmm. guess the knee doesn't have a lot of fat bone. in there. Yeah, bone hurts bone. the most. Bone hurts the what's most. The, what's the least painful spot for a tattoo? The outside of your arm. So like, he, like, like forearm, forearm, and, forearm and, and shoulder. Tricep area. Okay. You know, right. shoulder. Good to know. Good to know. Whatever sees the sun suck. the most. Huh? This part right here? Ty doesn't ever see the sun. So. No. <laughs> That's I think he attempts the sun. The sun doesn't like him. I hate it. It's too hot, and I'm just a huge bitch. Let's call it what it is. But um, it seems like you're finding a lot of success really quickly, and that's mm. awesome. Cheers Thank to you, you for that. Thank you. Thank you, guys. 
Yeah, so are you like all uh, self-educated on like the Japanese style and yeah. do you have like influences and not specific artists. I think um well, technically my tattoo artist Temo at Fifth Estate, he does some Japanese uh tattoos, but he's doing my back. My back is full of Japanese. So I see his work and I'm inspired by like the designs. His style is different. He works more uh, on the finer line mm-hmm. on on the style so that he doesn't go super bold. But it's very clean. He draws everything on. He doesn't stencil anything. You you stencil right now? Right now. I've done one freehand piece, which How was were it? the leaves around this girl's wrist. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Were you nervous? No. I was actually very excited for someone to be like, I want these leaves. And I didn't stencil it. Uh, I didn't draw it. I was like, let me just draw it on you. She's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. Do you trust me? She's like, yeah. And it's probably out. better it's so that pretty. way. Because if you were nervous and you were like, I, I, I don't know. And they're like, well, you're the one with the machine in your yeah. hand. No, you I mean, if, 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 yeah. if they were like, draw a dinosaur with a rainbow on a fucking spaceship, I'd be like, nah, we'll stencil that. Nah. No, yeah. No, thank you. No. <laughs> I'm going to work on this five hours before you show up, and then we'll see if you like it. How long have you been drawing? My fir- my fir- earliest memory, I think I was like eight. Okay. Like like actually? Uh, I took uh, an art class. Like my, uh, my parents made me take all these classes outside mm-hmm. of school. Like I did piano, uh, gymnastics, drawing, art, painting. I did. I remember doing this picture of like these houses up on the beach. It was like three of them. I was young, and I was. She was like, she just had that painting. She's like recreated. She was teaching us, and I was painting. I remember that vividly. It's a white house, back in the backyard. It was open. It's pretty cool. And so ever since, you just kind of have been progressively getting better, or is it something that you put it away entirely and, and you just picked? It was up? on and off. I think. Cause I don't remember drawing from then until freshman year. Mm-hmm. Just wasn't a thing I did. And I would draw then religiously every night. I would come home, ride my bike, be out, come home, eat dinner, chill out, maybe do homework, probably not. And then draw until <laughs> we, two in the morning. We know how that goes. Yeah. And I would draw for four or five hours right. straight Fuck until yeah. the piece was finished. And exactly how I thought it. So when you got your first tattoo when you were 17, right? Seven, mm-hmm. seventeen, And then you wanted to do tattooing, you bought all of that right your drawing career started earlier than right that. yeah and then when you put the machine down and you were like fuck this i'm done did you still draw or did you i went uh, when i put it down well that was while i was in college mm-hmm. so i was still drawing i was going for graphic design right so i took a lot of like um calligraphy classes uh drawing one-on-one painting and then uh most of it was graphic design like photoshop illustrator compositions and all that but what i excelled at was the drawing classes because I, that's what you'd been doing forever yeah and it just came more natural like i would plug in headphones and the teacher would sit us in a half circle so everybody has a different angle of this this setup the composition he's like all right you got four hours and each class was four hours long so we yeah. start like half an hour and, yeah no bro yeah that's you get sitting in photoshop so? for four classes wants to put a bullet in my brain <laughs> the do you, do you like Using Photoshop, I mean, obviously, I'm, I would assume you're more of the pen to paper mm-hmm. artist. That's what you. Love I like Illustrator a lot more. In okay. Illustrator, there's a lot more freedom. Photoshop, I think the way I learned, or the lack of learning, because I just didn't really pay much attention to it. It's like layers and groupings, and literally just layer after layer after layer. In Illustrator, I can just with if I had like a Wacom tablet. I can just draw and pick off lines and adjust. And you can do that like now a, with an iPad, though, right? Yeah, it's just Procreate at this point. It's yeah. called. Yeah. Well, the Pro I think create. I think that's the one I use. I was gonna say the other day, um, we had someone over at our house that had an Apple Pen, and I'm looking at it like, ooh. Yeah. You know, I grab it and and like you gotta try this app. It's just you. Can I do brought anything my iPad. I can show you. You have it. Yeah, it's in the bag. So I don't. Is it? It's Procreate. That's mm-hmm. what you use. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that app is fun. It's that, like ten dollars. Oh, I can. It's like ten. I can like get great. out on that. What's an Apple Pen? Apple Pencil. Pencil. It, it's it's pen? got. It's Apple yeah. Pencil. It's is Apple it lead? No. No, it's literally a hundred twenty dollar fucking stick. Damn. Well, of just, course it's Apple. Yeah. yeah. Right. But you just. It's great because there's so many functions you can draw. And then there's tab fixtures, so you can switch out to like your eraser just on base on tab. Shit. There's weight. What do you draw on, on my Anything. iPad? Oh no! IPad. And that's how I draw all the designs for the oh, tattoos, because okay. then I can go from iPad to printer to stencil press. Nice. Saves me the time. What's the process of a stencil press? Like I don't, I don't even know what that looks like. So it's like, um, it's like a little printer, but it's a feeder. I just bought this, by the way. Mm-hmm. Before I would draw 
let's say we're going to work on a piece for you and I work on this shoulder design, right? And then we print it out. And then from the printed out image, I have to put it on top of a thermal paper, which is ink. And then I have to redraw each line for like 45 minutes and then place a stencil on you. Sweet God. Right. <laughs> now I just put the thermal paper into this feeder, place my printed out drawing, and it pre like it feeds it through and presses it onto the the thermal paper. That is that one thing. hell of a process. Well, before. so now it saves me forty minutes because this thing takes like thirty seconds at best. There you go. Yeah, uh, and do, every do, line's accurate. Do most people prefer stencil as opposed to like a free? I I would imagine. I don't it, think that it there's a preference the for the guest or the customer. Really, the client. It all depends. It they don't really care. They're just there for the the final piece. The mm -hmm. process of it is irrelevant. Some people do like the idea of having an artist freehand because it's impressive. It's one of those things that it's laid out for your body and the structure of your body. Do you have anything on you that's freehand? Uh, my chest was freehand. The whole thing. The whole thing is freehand. Yeah, from from here all the way to my shoulders. He just that's I a showed big up. Big fucking piece. Yeah, because he was like, send me some reference pictures, and I. I looked everywhere and I couldn't find it. So I was just, I drew one. I was like, this is what I want. And I sent it over and I showed up. I was like, did you get my reference picture? He goes, yeah, that was cute. And I was like, oh. Oh, <laughs> thanks man. Thanks, so man. then Good he's like, take your shirt off. I'm like, like, all right. Nice nips. And then he, gri I think he grabs his wax pen, hits it once, looks at my chest and grabs a marker and just does it. That's gnarly. Fucking five minutes. Whipped that's it out. Gnarly. I mean, that's, that's the difference of doing something for like 30 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm supposed to like a few years, you know? I feel like that's gotta be, I, I mean, that's gotta be nerve wracking. It just, if you're doing it and I, I mean, if, if it's pen to paper, you can crinkle up the paper and throw it out. You're not going to crinkle up a human and be like, eh, start again, mm -hmm. you know? So that's, that's the next level. That's, that's do or die shit right there. Yeah. There's also confidence in it, yeah. you know? When I put on a stencil and I look at it and I don't have a pretty structured color palette, you know, I just have the, the outline and they're like, color away. I'm like, all right. And I just look at it. I'm like, what would I do if I got this? What would I like? And then I also, you get to consideration the person's skin tone. If you're a darker toned person, you can't go like with like pinks and mm -hmm. light blues. They don't really set well. Okay. You know, like I tan very well. Like a red sits well. Green sits well. When you say they for you, I well. put like a fucking pink on you, <laughs> shine bright like a diamond. Pink. That's right. Let me shine, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, when it when it comes to set well, the, when you do an initial tattoo, uh, I have one, and so I am not experienced mm -hmm. in this whatsoever. But when it when when you do the initial tattoo, how long does that usually take to set? And if it's a big piece, what's the recommended time before you come back and work on the rest, or is that completely dependent on the client? Um, if we're working the same area, right? Then I minimum two weeks so if we do an outline for you and you're like i want color eventually i wouldn't see you for two weeks because so i wouldn't want to work around the healing tissue now if we did and um, well an outline is a little different i can add color around the lines and be okay if you come in and we do the outline and the black work the shading the back part of it i will not touch you for two weeks at least because hmm. i will have to blend the color into the black to create a transition gotcha and if I can't do that, because you're scabbing, you're peeling, you're creating new skin, you're healing, I can't. Go How much and stab work can you. you do in a set, though? If so, if uh, you're working, I'm limiting it to four hours right now, so I don't have that uh, longevity of somebody sitting in my house for that long. Can I just rotate, do different pieces? There you go. Don't get stuck, and I will not sit through eight hours, even tattooing. Like I even push for breaks on a four-hour session. Let's take one in between two hours, because even me hunched over sitting there just. Yeah. Tattooing yeah, away, hyper smoke. focus on this one area is straining to the mind. So, hmm. you on top of of tattooing and and things like that, you also have another profound love interest uh, of mechanics and cars and yeah, bikes. That's fine. Um, let's talk about that for a second. Cool. When when did that start? Um, it was one of the first times I moved out to Arizona. Well, I liked cars previous to that. I wasn't fully knowledgeable of them. Mm -hmm. And then when I moved here, I was looking for my first car because I needed. I was I realized that this state is not a state where you just ride your bike to places. Cause it's hot uh, as balls. Like I, yeah, I realized that very fast. Well, and cities are 25, 30 minutes by car from each other. You know. Yeah. You can't so get to Scottsdale to go. As opposed to in Peru, Massachusetts, bicycle everywhere. That was like my go-to. Just rode right. my bike everywhere. I haven't ridden a bike here in like six years. Wow. Mm. Well, fuck that. Winter maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've given thought to the last time I actually rode a bicycle. 
It's been a minute. If you don't touch it for a while, you feel weird when you hop on it. For sure. I don't know. I feel weird on a bike. Yeah. When's the last cool. time you were on a bike? I don't know. Yeah, right? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think yeah. I've even thought yeah. about it. I just sold mine. I had a yeah. BMX bike. And those sit shorter. Like, I was so used to riding it. Last time I hopped on one, I was like, this is for a baby. But I sat on it just fine before. A little crotch rocket? Yeah. There you go. What do you have now? Zero. I sold it. I sold oh, that's the Tyler. one you sold? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So, when I moved to Arizona, I was looking for a car. And I knew I liked, like, GTIs, Volkswagen Golfs. And I was looking at this kid had one. It was a red one with a black hood, and it said stands on it. So I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that means. But <laughs> I like so it. I was like, it looks cool. He has to do something with the look. So it looked stands, whatever. And then I would see all these images of these cars modified. I'm like, that's wicked. Why are their tires tilted? And how does that work? Why does it look broken? It literally looks like. Yeah, I know what you mean. Fucking like at an angle. Out. Yeah, I was like, how do you do that? Is it purposely broken? And I didn't know anything, right? So I tried to I buy that I car. I still ask myself that question when I look at the <laughs> car parts and things. I'm like, I don't yeah. know what the fuck that is. Is it supposed to be like that? And it's one of those things where you just got to learn or yeah. else you don't know. And then thankfully I met people that knew way more than me. And, and that's just kind of how it goes. You just learn from the people around yeah. you. But I wasn't able to buy that vehicle because it was too expensive. And I really wanted it. That so whole hobby is expensive. Like yeah. car parts and, oh, yeah. and upgrading and like tires. And I think what I spent on my car alone when I was fully done with it. I think it was like around 16 grand, which would have paid off the car. Oh, do, you, do you work on the car yourself or do you usually just have a I try, mission? I do it? everything I can with the help of friends okay. unless it's something that I know for sure I can't do. Like when I got my car wrapped by a shop, uh, they were had sponsored me at the time. I helped. You know, I paid only for, for parts. And then so I helped them wrap it. And I learned a little bit about it. But there's no fucking way I could do it by myself. People do it. You can. I just don't have the patience. What does getting yeah. sponsored to have a cool looking car look like? Like, do you race? Do you do you shows? Shows. Shows. You go to car shows. It's like a, a minimum. Of, you go to like two or three car shows in or out of the state. And you have to uh, post pictures on Instagram because you carry a following to advertise the sponsor. How long were you into that for? Like at that point, once you're getting paid for it, you're doing it professionally. So yeah, so it's not a s direct payment. It's more of like a discount on the parts or whatever uh, product they offer. So for the shop, I get the wrap, right? Okay. And now I go to their booths when it's like a cool event. And if I go outside of the state for different shows just to compete on my own, there's uh, I have to tag them on all the pictures I posted because they did the wrap. Mm -hmm. Same idea with like, this is company in Australia called We Are Likewise. The owners are Jordan and Ben, very close friends of mine. And there's no direct sponsorship. They don't do sponsorships. They don't. I just supported their company so much when they started to where I would just advertise their products all the time because I was super gotcha. excited. They create some dope stuff. It's all accessories like shift knobs and steering wheels and little things for you, like lug nuts, mm -hmm. pretty cool stuff. And it came to the point where I would like fanboy. Like, I would push it. Like, hey, like, what's up, guys? Like, I try and talk to him. I was young. I was like, yeah, whatever. I messaged him all the time. And he was like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> and then you just talk and talk and talk and talk. And next thing you know, I'm, we fucking faced him each other for the shit of it. And he sends me uh, products uh, before release. Like, what do you think of this? He sends me, like, three different things. He's like, I want to go for this. And I tell him, like, I don't like this. I like this. I like that. And then he adjusts, you know, because I'm, he sees me as a, a customer point, like, like from my view, what what does a customer see as opposed to from the creation point of view? So he trusts me and a few other people with a lot of those things. So he created this uh, connection where I don't ask him for anything. I purchase his products because he's a friend and, and friendship. You know, your company doesn't run a friendship at the end of the day. Like, I don't I don't expect you to give me a discount on anything. I don't expect you to give me anything for free. How does how does someone make money? on that hobby though uh, obviously if you go to enough car shows and uh, you know like me like how do i make money out of that yeah would that be more of a project that you're just pumping money into yeah yeah there's okay. no there's no profit in here gotcha. the, the profit is is the passion for the build and the aesthetics of it like i i build my car solely for the look of it because i enjoy like if i'm going to be in my car and i drive everywhere i like what it looks like i want to be confident in it and like it's it's so much fun i think my funnest thing is watching these kids like little kids in like suvs purposely like poke their heads out and like look back at it and they're trying to get a parent's attention and they're like fucking driving like what what, what do you want I'm like look at that 
Because <laughs> I remember I used to be that kid yeah. in the car. You're like, right. I want that. Yeah, but I would get hype over a fucking Mustang when I was uh-huh. like 12. Do you, press the, do, do you press the gas even harder when you do see something like that just to flex a little bit? Yeah, I'll drop a gear <laughs> and I'll like do a little zoom past them and I'll wave at them and they get super excited. They like to wave back. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I like the excitement of children and pissing off old guys. Yes. That's my that's favorite important. part. The I, old dudes get real fucking mad. As a musician, I share that. If I'm turning the music up, it's going to be at 11 and if it's too loud, you're too old. I yeah. get that. <laughs> yeah, I think they're more thing. They're I'm too old. The man. people that are enthusiasts are the ones that get bought in. Like the ones, like the car I have is the FRS. A lot of people are like, oh, it's built for track. Like you're supposed to lower it a little bit, put some good tires on it, do some laps on it. That's the whole thing. It's enjoying the vehicle for what it is, the raw yeah. feel of the vehicle. And I'm like, no, let's put it about a quarter inch off the ground. Let's make it as stiff as possible. So you have to see a chiropractor twice a week. And let's tilt the wheels to where you're going through tires every three months. Hmm. Just because it looks cool. And see, fuck it. You're going to have oh, uh, yeah, in, in the comment section, there's going to be some, you know, and that's fine. fanboy that's just like, Cause at I the end can't of the day, you would do that to the car. Yeah, because they're only buying tires and that's okay. I got sponsored by tires. <laughs> <laughs> Level up. Man. Huh? Level up. Level up, yeah. But it's my own game. You're not playing my game. Uh, there you go. Yeah. I like your mentality. Absolutely. Um, I couldn't help but notice that that big orange box back there uh, wasn't here before you got here. Did you bring some equipment? Yeah. Shit. I bought some fun stuff. Got some fun stuff? Have some, some fun tattoo things stuff. Some? Yeah. I brought a machine, power supply, some needles. Ooh. So we could tattoo right needles. here, right now. Right here, right now. Holy shit. But I brought everything I needed to, to make sure it was, it was sterile and clean. Look at you taking care of your people. Absolutely. Who are you going to tattoo? You. <laughs> me? Yeah. I might have you hey. tattoo He's me. He's going to do the bomb 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> If I heard you correctly, you just said, I'm going to tattoo you. You're going to do some of it. I'm not going to have you do the whole thing. But okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? I've never done that before. I'll I've, guide I've, you through. I, I draw bubble people. You know how most people draw stick people? I yeah. draw bubble people. Oh, that's I fine. You're, just doing one, you're going to do like two that's lines a, at best. Okay. At least do you know how to r- step above stick people. <laughs> do you know how to write the word it? That's literally what you're doing. You're just writing it. I can do it, that. It. Yeah. I can do that. Am I tattooing your it? Yeah. And I'm going to tattoo your it on you. I love it. <laughs> to anyone that doesn't know Yo, what we're talking about. Do you know the story? No, I don't. I don't oh. know the story. Go ahead. All right. All right. So, Stefan and I used to work together. And um, it was a slower night. And I, it, I think it was a busy night, if I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a Friday night. It probably wasn't the best time for us to be playing no. this game. <laughs> but uh, we were bored because where we were at, if we're crazy, we're bored because things are running how they should. And I forget if it was you, me. Or no, he was just kind of standing over looking at the, the restaurant. And I walked over and I was like, what you looking at? He's like, nothing, just overviewing the building. I was like, all right, cool. And then you're it. And I ran away. And he just was like, what? I was like, you're it, motherfucker. You ever play tag? And I ran. <laughs> you ever play tag, man? <laughs> so, so then we chased each other for like 20 minutes. Like, boom, you're it. And I was like, all right. And then he tagged me. And I was like, all right, cool, whatever. And now I was like, I have to get creative. He knows I'm hunting him down. He knows I'm just going to chase him. So he's going to keep running. There's no point. I'm going to waste some time. Was it your brother that was in that day? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking it was cold, it was, dude. It was cold. Fucking cold. Cole so, came in to eat with his friend. So he came in to eat with his friend. And he told me, he's like, oh, yeah, it's my brother. Like, he's applying. So I already know. Like, I have the upper hand. I'm a manager here. He wants <laughs> to work here. He's going to do whatever I say. So I was like, hey, man. Power. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to use my power on this child. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I go up to Cole and I was like, hey, man. Like, my name is Stefan. I'm one of the managers here. Uh, I'm actually a close friend to your brother, Tyler. He's like, oh, what's up? I'm like, how's everything? Good, 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 good. I was like, cool. I was like, when your brother comes up to you toward the end of the night, and I, I, I grabbed his shoulder. I was like, when your brother comes over to say bye to you, whatever not, as you get to say bye, I want you to hug him and whisper in his ear and it says, Stefan says you're it. And then tap him because I'm tagging you. So you're oh, it right now. Shit. So we're playing tag. Through him. Now keep in right. mind, I hadn't seen my brother in about roughly six months. Oh, nice. So it's not, you know, it's not something where I'm just seeing him all the time and he's just fucking with me. It's like, I can't believe you're here. You came to my restaurant. I want to give you a great time. Yeah. And then he pulls this shit on me. So I'm standing by. The wall, like by the coop, which is one of the rooms, and I can see the the bar tops, the the high tops. 
that's where Cole is sitting. And so I'm facing Tyler's back. Tyler's facing away from me. He's talking to Cole. And I just see him hug. And as I see him, I just watch Cole like lean in and whisper. <laughs> Step Injury. assess your head. And, and the then, worst part is I can feel the breath yeah. in my ear. <laughs> so, you know, so it, not only am I getting tagged because he's, but I'm also just getting that it's like brain your brother's tickle. breath in yeah. here. Yeah, like, and then nah. I've never seen him go so red in my life. He just uh, no. looked defeated and just mad. And he looked away. He's like, you motherfucker. Just walked away with his pixelated ass shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I probably was wearing this. No, shirt I think you were wearing the purple one. The purple one, yeah, the purple. which is also pixelated. Fuck, yeah, I they're need to all. Stop getting yeah, when you shirts. buy five dollars shirts, what do you expect? They, they're silky. Yeah, it is silky. So, so fast silky. forward a couple months, and um, his brother comes into the restaurant, and Uh-oh. this is probably two, three months. Revenge. I think there were like one or two tags in between. Revenge. Was there? Yeah, I think so. They were like no, really stupid th- ones. So we, I think that day we made the rule. It was like, hey, the only way we can tag each other. It's through a third party. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. I can't that touch him. Rule. Yeah, I, exactly. I can't touch him. He can't touch me. Be like, you're it. It has to be. So I have to read it, or somebody has to say it to me, and I'd be like, oh fuck, I just got tagged. Yeah. It has to be a completely different. It's medium. like a more fucked up way to. Be. Yeah. Oh like yeah. Like it really fucks with your head. <laughs> so I think he. So you went up to Amanda, and he tried to get our GM at the time. She's like, oh, what the heck, Steph? But she did it the worst way. She's just standing there, like, hey. You're it, and I was like, "What? Oh, like, you got to go through the right dude. people for this game." I was because like, "How do you? How do you really one up? It up? It's all about one upping. You have yeah, to yeah. get you hard, uh-huh. right?" You're like, oh, so after how? <laughs> exactly how? Like, how did I just get you with your brother in an emotional, impactful moment, and then you just hit me with? You should have like raised your you're it on the stall, like when he's taking a poop. And, like, oh, it gets over. really crazy. Oh yeah, we you're, you're gonna get really excited. Deep. Well then, because I okay, so that one I'll admit could have been better. Yeah. But then I, I mean, I didn't follow- do a better one. I followed it up with a shitty. I tried to grab one of the hosts that works for me, uh, yeah. I, Sydney, and I was like, hey, you know, like, go up to him during a rush, freak out that someone at the door is freaking out about a table, like a guest, and, like, get him scared and be like, psych, Stefan says you're it. And then, so he's already uh, yeah. anxious and then, yeah. oh, even mad. Execution, poor, apparently. It was, <laughs> it was not bad. great. Yeah. Hey, uh, there's an angry the guest up there, up. and there's n- n- no guest at the door, and I'm like, there's... Everything seems yeah, fine. A, you know, and at that point, it's like, oh, uh, I've been caught in the lie. Uh, Stefan says you're it. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, well, now, now I'm in. Don't trust the so. host, dude. Sorry, Kristen. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kristen. <laughs> that's when shit got weird. Yeah, so that was that was the attempt to move on with the game, but it wasn't successfully hitting the way we wanted it to. And that's when he came back with my brother. And so, that, that one snagged me. Yeah. Oh, you guys got each other, but you should have expected that. Well, so here's the thing: my brother's not a person who plays that, uh, like a, who's very gotcha. like outgoing. So like did that. not expect. Because I had told him about the game, and he's like, oh, "Okay, yeah, uh-huh. whatever." And he like blank face yeah. always. He just doesn't care. Yeah. And he, I just didn't think he would go along with it because he's like, "Fuck it," most of the time. Uh-huh. So uh, I told him about the game, and then he goes over. He's like, "I'm gonna go see your brother." I'm like, "All right, cool." And after he left, I was like, "What did he say to you?" <laughs> he's like. <laughs> He was so I was, I was on it. I was like, what the fuck did he say to you? He's like, nothing. He just asked me how everything was going. Told me he was your friend. Shout out to your brother for keeping a good secret. Right. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Franz. Ooh. Yeah, we're going Ooh. out. Me, me, me. Going out Happy yeah. birthday. Cheers I'm to going to his brother, his, to his house later to eat. eat some time. Nice. Oh, yeah. Italian or Mexican food? I, I was just going to ask. His fiance is making it. Oh, Peruvian food. Ooh. She's making Peruvian food. So we're okay. doing the good stuff. Nice. I don't think I know, like off the top of my head, a single Peruvian dish. I need to culture yeah. myself. Like My culinary degree is on Peruvian right? food. You know that, right? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm a, I, went, I have a culinary degree. Like my chef. It's fine. So but you, but solely you, in Peruvian cuisine. You go, I, I don't think I understand how that works. So, obviously, you can get a culinary degree, but I guess yeah, it I makes sense. A, you like can, a, you like can, a master's class on Peruvian cooking. Right. And you can, you can go... I guess get your degree for one specific cuisine and master that. It's cuisine. it's like a um, certificate, essentially, because I did the basic training, fun knife skills and cooking you process, and then I just I was like, I want to hyper focus on Peruvian <laughs> food, and the traditional way of making it, and then I was like, All right, I'm done with food, I'm bouncing out of Peru, and that's why I did my studies abroad, which I that's when I learned Peru. So mole is a. Peruvian dish? No, mole you can use. I it was. Like mole, but it's Mexican. Gotcha. I was about to be really excited because I did know <laughs> one. Now I don't. No. no. So, can you make me some Peruvian food one day? Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. So back to the story. <laughs> this motherfucker. So I go up to France. I'm like, what do you say to you? He's like, nothing. I'm like, no, fucking. 
you tell me right now if you're going to tag me. He's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, all right, cool. So at the end of the meeting, I'm walking him out. And with my brother, it's always like quick slap back. Yeah, yeah. Love you. Love you. Bye. Peace out, man. Yeah. Quick. No, not emotional. Whatever. Nah. We can make it out the door. I'm like, bye, Sonia. Fian- fiance. And he's like, all right, bro. Bye. And I tap him. Hug. And he just goes, you're it. I was uh, like, well, you? Uh, bitch. Like, I was so mad. <laughs> so mad. Because he doesn't play those games. And I looked. I was like, are you fucking serious? He's like, hey, man. Don't hit the player. Just hit the game. I was like, yes. Oh. <laughs> And he walked away, and I just walked in furious. I was like, you son of a bitch. I love it. So I had to one-up him. I had to one-up him real hard. That was the last one? Yeah. That was the last of your it? No. No, no, no. There was, there's two of them. Is it two more? Oh, mm-hmm. is it? Yeah. I changed I changed his name oh, in yeah. the POS system yeah, 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 that's enough. for the longest time. So anytime he would ring up a ticket, it would say, you're it, uh, every time. Yeah, he got me good on that one. And then there was... No, I, I got you ones before the big one because the one after that is when you got me at the restaurant uh-huh so he got me once i, f- I forget what I forget it was how they got him too. but then he's talking about iron maiden oh yeah like i went to go see him live a that month. Was fun. and how he's uh, going to iron maiden and he's taking uh his uh girlfriend's mom and it's how it's going to be just awesome and he's always been an, an iron maiden fan and gears turning i'm like how can i fuck his day up <laughs> <laughs> so he what you you went to uh, uh, the restaurant right across the street from from Talking Stick Arena, okay. and and I know some of the staff there, and so I the entire time during the dinner I know exactly where they're at in their dining. Experience. And here's the thing: is like that restaurant doesn't take reservations on event days, like uh, concert days, and he got me one so that I was the only reservation that day. Oh, shit. But I was like, fuck yeah, hook up so I can have yeah. dinner right before the show. You didn't expect it at all. No, I was like, this dude is just being a homie. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck oh, yeah. Dude. And then it was good. the espresso was... came. Thank oh, yeah, you know. full dinner. So it had cocktails, entree, uh, appetizers, dessert. And I was like, I just want an espresso so I can last through the night. Cause I'm and in you're the food not coma. it the whole time. You're like, and it comes out it. in this pretty little plate, the espresso, and then a little card. Right above it, it says, you're it, uh, heart tie. And I was like, no fucking way. As loud as I could. The staff <laughs> is all staring at me, laughing, because they uh, all knew. Uh, and I was like, oh, wow, I got caught by, like, the whole restaurant. <laughs> that was well played. Where, well played. Were you sitting in the center where the, where the booths are? Uh, the little two two booths, the two like booths. the two seaters. That's yeah. So the center of the restaurant. Yeah, dead center. I can see the kitchen and the bar oh, and all, like, oh, the door that everyone walks in and out of. <laughs> glorious and now and he said he said it's because i got him right after that and i was like i need to top this i need it needs to be monumental yeah right and so he's telling me about the weekend where he's gonna go propose <laughs> and <laughs> he emphasized don't fucking do anything <laughs> this weekend <laughs> So that says, fucking do Dude, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Plan everything for this week. Because I, I had it so well planned that anything <laughs> that deviated from this plan could have sent it just in a downward <laughs> spiral real quick. So he asked one of the chefs at the restaurant, because he's had a hookup in the, what, the hotel or resort, whatever yeah, he said, in Sedona. One of, the, one of the hotels in Sedona. And so he had a request that I was like, hey, can you, he told the chef, like, oh, let's do dinner, bottle of champagne, like. I want roses on the bed, is what they told the ship. And he got it all set up. So I was asking, I was like, oh, what did Ty tell you? He's like, oh, this is a setup. I'm like, is there any way you can get the the maintenance people, the cleaning ladies or whatever, to rearrange the roses <laughs> in a different manner? He's like, yeah, what do you want? I was like, can you spell your it across the bed? Massive and roses. I love you, Kristen. <laughs> 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 She's and like sitting over there like, fuck you. <laughs> no, she fucking loved it. Nah. And uh, so they have the whole shabam or whatever. And it was the middle. I think it was Saturday night. I was in the middle of a rush. And I get this FaceTime from them. And he is just not mad, but just in Look the Look at this. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That, they did not. First of all, blatantly they didn't it. spell it right. And I expected it too, but. That's oh, fine. you are. Yeah, I I don't I shouldn't apostrophe R E. Yeah, I shouldn't tell people how to spell your it, but fucking whatever. <laughs> they ran back in the room 
like after you know it was probably can, right can after you share your you. experience like coming to the door of the room yeah so we just gotten done with dinner i am very loosey-goosey and as i'm walking up to the to the uh hotel i see like workers in our room which was weird yeah, yeah, was but i'm like oh they're setting up the flowers on the bed and i told them to be done at a certain time but they're still working on it. that's fine Redirect Kristen. Let's go this way. You know, let's take a nice little stroll around the hotel. So and that's the thing. It's like it had to be something that he already knew was going to be there. Oh, dude, that's like so this is so the it, one. So it this was an addition one. to the night. Because if he didn't have Russell's plan, that he'd be like, "What the fuck's going on?" Yeah, and so uh, that was <laughs> when I I didn't even think that he was doing something, but I wanted roses on the bed, so I'm like, okay, we take like maybe what a five minute walk around the hotel. We go back in. And I see the roses and I'm like, fuck, man. And then I look at it and it's not spelled right. And I'm like, uh, do I take a picture of this? Because yeah. people are going to think that I put it, your it for Kristen on the bed. You know what I mean? Like no one else is going to get know. it. Yeah, and then I'm the, the lady runs back in after I FaceTime Steph. And she's like, I just realized we spelt it wrong. Do you want us to oh, spell it right? No. <laughs> and I was like, honestly, it's good. Don't even worry about it. And the uh, execution on that one messed up. I'll have you know, Kristen did not get any sex that night. <laughs> I am so sorry. And it was directly. Well, yeah, there's fucking roses all over the bed. They got thorns and shit. Why would you do that? Dude? Oh, it's all no, petals. It was all petals. Come on. Come on. <laughs> gotta be romantic. <laughs> very thorny. Yeah, very yeah. thorny. <laughs> but that was, but that, so that was my success. Okay. There was one more that happened. And I don't remember what the occasion was i don't really i got you after that i got engaged in october yeah so, so this is the last one, one in it, ha it has not been no i'll tell you why because there was one there was one time that uh kristen got me and it was after we had oh that was no that was the one that i got you that we couldn't remember got b before all that before no that was the one before iron maiden that's how we got to iron maiden because gotcha. i i messaged her on uh facebook because that's the weekend I you thought you were proposing. <laughs> no, that was the weekend I thought you were proposing. And they were out on the, the little getaway on the weekend. And I was like, hey, you know, I've met you a few times. This is the message to Kristen. I was like, I met you a few times. I'm Ty's coworker. This is a really weird request. And I understand if it's okay if you're not down to do this. But can you please, in the moment where you guys are intimate or like just very passionate, oh, just like, I, like a, an, a cute, like I love you moment, just throw Steph and says you're in. Oh, no. And... So we have a great, great <sighs> evening. Uh, this is probably a wine induced, one. <laughs> a wine induced <laughs> this is better evening. Better than a proposal one. <laughs> and we take a shower, get out of the shower. I'm <laughs> not that I want anyone to imagine this, but I'm naked, drying myself off in the most vulnerable possible state I Very can be pink. in. Very pink. It was Very a cold <laughs> shower. It was a cold shower, so you know that. It, yeah, in, it was. It was in reverse <laughs> at that point. Uh, and then Kristen, you know gives me a hug and, and I'm like, I love you. And she's like, I love you too. A step and says, you're it. And I didn't register at first <laughs> because that is like, so Ooh. far. Well, so her message to me was like, fuck yeah, I got you. I was like, oh, sick. She's down. And then no, nothing after that. And then I just get a, you son of a bitch text uh, message. <laughs> so and so I didn't words. know how you the execution words. was played out. Yeah. yeah. Until he came back and he told me. Even then, I was much more excited about the whole thing. Yeah, scenario. you're probably just dying. Oh, well, the second I that we got, he got to work, he runs right up to me. He's like, how did it happen? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to fucking look like, at I, you right I, now. Yeah, he's so mad. <laughs> I'm like, but how? Was it like intimate? Were you having a sexy <laughs> time? Or like, what happened? He told the me next one's coming, dude. Glorious. I've been waiting for months since October. Although I guess, I guess, uh, I guess if today, if I'm technically it, mm -hmm. and I'm tattooing your it on you, no, because you're you're physically touching me, right. so you technically you won't count. Huh. So this is a uh, more of a, a standby. Yeah. Yeah, this is okay. this is not part of the game. Well, then it's still coming, motherfucker. Makes it so, zero, and zero. Here's the frustrating part. I have at least six ideas for the wedding. And I'm just waiting for him to tag me back. And if he Wait, doesn't, they're just going to sit still. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't look at her. Corner, what do you know? Corner, what do you know? No, corner my eye. She just threatened my life. So so uh, I should call off the plane that draws in the sky. Yeah. It's ha I'm going to get you, and it's going to be glorious. I hope so. 
if it's strategic, it'll be after my wedding. Uh, <laughs> it's if like it's pyrotechnics, you're it at the wedding. Oh, I was thinking don't. like a big banner or I hire like a blimp or something. I don't know. If Ooh, you have the ability was... to hire a blimp, I'll just but throw I need, in the I towel need, now. I need to be tagged. I can, I can fit this whatever I want. I know everybody. Game on. <laughs> My goal is to eventually get the president of the United States <laughs> in the middle of the inaugural address. Oh, and by the way, Stefan, you're it. My fellow Americans and oh, <laughs> I God, just so great. Utter defeat. But uh, that's the that's the story behind you're it. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's why we're getting tattoo. tattoo. That's the yeah. tattoo. It's a lifetime game. I I think I got inspired from that like movie with the guys that play yeah. tag. Oh, I thought you meant it the movie. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that one. You clown-looking motherfucker. Is this you? Look at your shirt. <laughs> That's a solid <laughs> point. Clown. I look like I got splooged on by a clown. Yeah, he's just full nut all over. It's a lot. All over your shoulders. Very pixelated nut. Ah, you got to go pack to the pixelation. I bet you could probably make me a better shirt or a better design. They probably can't tell from the cameras, but this picture, I mean, this this shirt, and in my description of it is it literally looks like when you open a, a picture on your phone from like Twitter or Instagram and it's loading, you can see the the point of the picture, but it's not it's fully like, crispy. It's like Legos. Yeah. Consistently. It's not always. fully crispy? No, it's just not, not loaded all the way. Like you have 3G and it's not full it's LTE. Like it's like an insult now. Yeah, you're waiting. If you have, in, if you have 3G. You, you have, have Android 3G. shirt. You run out Android of data. Android shirt? Oh. Android, yeah. Put. Android Snapchat shirt. Yeah. That's what it is. Green bubble having some, bitch. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, let's talk about the the action that will be taken today. Yeah. Um, well, shit, man. If you're if you're being serious, let's do this. I have uh, one tattoo. Okay. And I was hoping uh, if you have your shit, you could touch it up because over the years it's weathered. Yeah. Excellent. It's what not is huge. It? Huh? What is it? It's a camel. Where? <laughs> On my toe. Very original. Now, is it like a camel face? Is it a whole body? Camel. The camel logo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Marble. Yeah. Cigarettes. Uh, it's it's the camel Just the out- logo. The outline or filled Just the in? outline. Not okay. filled in. So, could you fill it in? It's going to hurt. Because I didn't bring a shade in either. I just brought a liner. Assuming that as well as the thing. But if I, if, I'm, if I fill it in with the three-liner that I have, you're going to be in excruciating pain. <laughs> it's, it's I'm like kind of down. The smaller the, the grouping of needles, the sharper it feels. It's mm. a lot, it takes a lot more to get into the skin. So mm. I have to pump up the power. How much, how much time would that take? To fill it in? Five, six, ten minutes maybe? From start to finish? I can, oh. I can withstand excruciating yeah. pain yeah, for five minutes. I don't six, know if I want to yeah. hold your toe for ten minutes. Fast forward five minutes. Times like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> there's some Too people. Hey, there's some like people that pay a lot of money for that. Yeah, I'm so good on that. You don't want to hold. My if toe? your toe matches your goatee, I'm out. If he don't has his own little t- fucking patch of hair, it's got its own little thing going on. Your rope. Yeah, your rope. like my womb broom, my flavor saver. Kristen, do you ta- like? Tug on it sometimes. <laughs> she gags on the spot. Her exact reaction when people ask about it is, I pick and choose my battles. Because there's things that that she wins all the time. And if she just lets me have this one, she knows I'm going to shut up on the rest of them. Fair enough. It's like a power play. Yeah. Kind of. Like a yeah. blackmail, almost. Like reverse. Almost. Like you, She's letting you have that so that you have no words for anything Like I else. could probably piss her off to a point where I wake up and it's not there anymore. And she's like, eh. "How much does that take?" <laughs> we're not we're not offering bribes right now. There's no money in this. No, what, what level of anger do you have to reach to shave that off? Uh, hopefully, pretty, pretty high. high. See, and just the challenging person in me wants to see how high that gets. I want to see that too. Yeah, bets? Just, Let's put bets on. How, how much do we push Ty to get that thing shaved off? That's months of work. It's months of work. This yeah. is probably a, a year of work. Jeez, coming up that on a year. year if i grew my but it's beard like right out there. for a yeah. year if i let anything grow for a year it's down to my like yeah. fucking bottom of my okay, chest okay we get it you guys are more manly that's not the point <laughs> this is the point <laughs> <laughs> i've been working on this for a hot minute and i just started adding the the uh, do you have beads bands? on it or is it just like no i want to throw some beads in there though i'm gonna put my beard was long enough i wanted to try and figure out how to put some beads like vikings for like a costume there you go didn't work 
if it gets thicker and a little longer, I want to break this bitch into two. You should just put like one aim. Are you going to like Captain like right Jack Sparrow it or what? Yes. What? <laughs> just put like one anal bead like right on the end. The the anal beads that he uses are way too big to fit on that. They're too big. Can you get one singular anal bead? Probably. Probably just cut you it out of the grouping. Take it apart. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm interested in doing this and then just walking around with a big old anal bead on my on my chin. It has to be a, like yeah. a well known brand, so people are like, oh fuck, is that? What's a well known <laughs> anal bead brand? I don't know. <laughs> what does that look like? Fuck if I know. <laughs> search the search the web. Like their tagline Kirkland. is like Kirkland anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> Serving you since 1907. <laughs> the Costco ba- brand is the best. It comes with the most. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah for Back sure. Back of Everyone 40 for like 12 bucks. <laughs> 100%. They got the beginner, the intermediate, the expert. No, I think it's all in the same string. It's just how far you can push it in. Yeah. Ah. It's to your brackets in the... Little anal bead string. I gotta be honest with you. I don't know how we get off the topic of anal beads. We start to tattoo. <laughs> we can do that. Um, to tattoo. Are, are you are you ready to go whenever or what? Yeah, it's really easy. Dope. All right, we're gonna take a short break. Uh, set this bad boy up, and I'm getting a tattoo. Sick. <laughs> so are you? Yeah. Oh boy. I got a spot. All right, here we go. All right, we'll be right back. And we are back in different places. Um, Stefan's setting up over here, and I just found out what a body screenshot is. <laughs> Grant, you fart you and cough at the same time. You take a screenshot you of your body. Is it like your age? Is that what that saves? I don't know. I don't know yet. It just saves a at. really embarrassing moment in your yeah, life that you probably won't forget. Probably not. <laughs> it's, that, it's that nightmare that pops up. Yeah. Every now and again, yeah, exactly. next thing you know, you wake up in the middle of the night like I didn't do that. Um, okay, so what? Talk to me about what we have going on here. Um, so I have I brought the nine round liner. I'm nervous I as brought shit, a by five. the way. Huh? I'm nervous as shit. By oh the yeah, way. we could tell. It, it's it's my, I'm bobbing. Yeah. The leg right Stop now. doing that, dude. I, I don't know if I can. Oh, cause you only have one tattoo, huh? Yeah. yeah. Only got one. I'm like to me, this is an everyday yeah. thing. Uh, it's not I even gonna like to get a sleeve. It's not gonna kill you, dude. That shit, no, we'll be cost, fine. that shit costs money. <laughs> that shit costs money. <laughs> that I don't fucking have. This is a freebie. I love that. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so what is that? Uh, just to wrap it for the machine, because when I'm tattooing you, if I'm touching your skin and your blood, I'm not fucking touching my machine with your my power supply with your blood. Everything has to be clean at all times. Heard. I can't be infecting my equipment with your your, your fucking gross ass bodily fluids. And then wouldn't you put the gloves on afterwards? No, it doesn't matter when I put the gloves on. Like especially for this, I just rather like especially if I'm touching the needles. I have a box of clothes. I see. You know. So does especially the rest like of the world right now. <laughs> huh? If I'm touching the the sleeve, right? That's gonna be touching everything that's touching your skin. Mm-hmm. I don't want my hands touching it. I'm not worried about it. I'm just concerned or asking about <laughs> how all this works. See, like, I'm not worried about it. You don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm not worried. I'm not all right, worried. So you worried. have your ink here. You Correct. have your. These are your needles. Correct. Okay, and this is the machine. So there's two line widths. So there, these two are nines. So okay. a nine is nine needles, grouped together to a point. You didn't have to say that, but that's fine. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start you with a, a three. He's like, I'm gonna start you with a one seventy. Five. You're gonna the, the beginning. I didn't beads. bring my fourteen, so you're happy. Oh. Fourteen needles in one. That's that's strange. a real thing. That's probably a shader, right? No, that's a that's a, just a fucking liner. I have a f- I ha- no. That, I'm sorry. That was, that's a thirteen liner. It's a thick line. Oh that's boy, like that thick. Oh, that's a fourteen. Heard. There's a fourteen round shader. It's a different grouping. So there's like the liners is a tight group of needle to a point, like a taper. A shader, it's like an open circle. Covers more ground. It's a little softer, but hell yeah. yeah. Oh and boy. this is just a wrap for the. Now, what's the standard prison size? <laughs> Single needle. Oh, okay. One. A, a fucking pen tip. I don't know. <laughs> it has to be rusty. Yeah. It's a thumbtack. A thumbtack. Yeah. Thumbtack. Yeah. Thumbtack. Yeah. A sewing needle. I don't know. Are they use something like. Could you use something? I don't like know. That? I've never been to prison. Oh, yeah. I might look like it, but no. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh angel. man. I've never stepped. You give yourself some uh, credit here. Maybe like a fucking little t- prison tour, but no, never been. So what are you <laughs> wrapping right now? Uh, my machine. So there's well, yeah, for the I rotary. There's 
you can get disposable grips, right? Uh -huh. To where, like, whenever I'm done getting your blood all over my shit, I just throw it out. But, or I can. Should we be putting something down, like, right here? Or? No, no dude. You're not going right? to squirt okay. blood everywhere. Yeah. I don't think I've got, I mean, I've gotten it done before I was hammered, but that. What is proper tattoo etiquette? Do you put a napkin across your lap? <laughs> a bib. You want to put a bib on you? I, I mean, I feel like I pretty much have one. Yeah, at this point. yeah. your shirt has paint all over it. Yeah, this pretty much is a bib. Um, okay, what do you have now? Toothpaste. This cup. This Toothpaste. Is, uh, no, this is the healing cream. What is it's, it? It's uh, vitamin A and D. It helps you heal. Like you, you use this after you get the tattoo, nice. but I also use it for like um, putting it on your skin to lubricate your skin because you're probably not hydrated. And I'm it helps hydrated. I got a bottle of water right here with a glass of whiskey next to it. That's a solid point. They counteract each other. But it, it it helps. It's it loops up your skin so the needle can enter and penetrate just fine. Okay. It's loop for a tattoo. That's what Love that. Is. So I have two cups. One cup for you and one cup for me. Okay. Just as I have three needles, one needle for your toe, one needle for your it, and then another needle for my your it. Mm. That's it. I am so interested to see how the your it is going to. Well, gonna I'm just going to write it on you and then tattoo it, which is what I'm going to do with uh, mine. I'm going to have you just write it on me with your damn shitty dude. ass letter. Yeah, you give me I'm a tattoo today. I know. That's crazy. Uh, so I think I'm more nervous about that than I am. Well, Why? no, like, the so I'm going to have you write. you were just talking about on me. I'm going to have you write, you're it. I'm going to tattoo the your part. I'm going to have you write, tattoo the it. it. Right. Because I'm not <laughs> having you do anything. He's like, you that. can do the dot of the eye. Can I yeah. put uh, Can I put tattoo artist on my resume after this? I think so. Mm, you can put whatever you want, dude. Yeah, you can put put whether or not want. it's factual. I put, <laughs> right. I put owner of Chuck E. Cheese's on my resume. I just Got found out that Chuck E. Cheese is no going jobs. out of business. I'm huh. like, What? Chuck E. Cheese, animatronic Do you know Chuck E. Cheese. I've never been to Chuck E. Cheese. You're a Peter Peter Piper Pizza kind of guy, huh? Neither. I've never what? been. I think I went to Peter Piper Pizza once. Peter Piper. As an as an better. adult, to literally get a quick slice of pizza. Yeah, that's it. I guess I guess thinking of you as a child and looking over it and thinking that you had got your first tattoo at five years old. <laughs> <laughs> you got I your first tattoo. At I had five? my I had my first beer at four. Earlier, we were when he said that he yeah he's interested. I, I got my interest in tattoos. Yeah, so I'm yeah. He's smoking a cigarette with a beer in his hand, <laughs> just like give it to me, Johnny. <laughs> you know, it says so mom, a big heart. Just mom. it's like uh, yeah, in the Hangover too when he's like tattooing the little kid. Exactly. Yeah, that would yeah. have been Stefan. That was me. Yeah, but I was that know, actor. One of your buddies is like, "Hey, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese." You're like, fuck Chucky. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Let's throw some down and blackjack. That's all good. <sighs> okay. Ready? Uh, all right. I think so. I hope right. so. Well, let me glove up and then let's, all right. let's get this done. Move over. Let me lube up the glove. Where Where do I uh Where, where Where's my safe zone? You so that I'm your foot up on my. On the my safe board. word is pineapple juice. <laughs> pineapple, pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Okay. If anything juice. happens, just say pineapple juice. Yeah, do right. do that. What do you need? Foot up. I shaved for you today. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? I did. <laughs> Which in any other scenario would be really fucking weird to say. But um, <laughs> it's like I'm nice and bare, big boy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, fuck. I can hear it. <laughs> that was the sound of the needle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the boy. Machine. The machine. I was wondering how much noise it was going to actually it's make on the, on the mics. Let's see. Look at you all professional and shit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that uh, is so small. Okay. It's the problem with the rotary. Okay. Is, okay. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Is it too candy? No, we're going to be good. Hey, what if I jerk? Um, well, then you're missing a different thing. Okay. All right. Oh, Don't jerk, go. bro. Let's say the first one, too. Okay. How's it feel? It's not terrible. Really, dude? Yeah, I'm a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, that is not pleasant. I'll tell you that much. Uh, okay, all right. I'm gonna need you to not like not move. I'm yeah. trying. Am I fucking it up? Just shut the fuck up and don't move, all right, dude. All right, I'm not moving. <laughs> all right, I'm not moving. I'll fucking give you a llama instead. A llama. Oh yeah. Funny story about that is when I. Oh! 
<laughs> Ow. Oh, I can't even tell the bunny's name. Yo, the inner side of the toe sucks. Woo, okay. What would you compare it to? Is it like burning? I don't even fucking know. So how the fuck did you sit through this in the first I was place? hammered. I was in Austin, Texas when I got this. Well, we were nice. walking by a tattoo shop. And one of my buddies goes, uh, you won't get a tattoo. And my drunk ass is like, bet I won't. How much did he charge you for this candy? Probably way too fucking much. Because at that point, I would have. I think someone else paid for it. Homeboys, I get it. This is like a $5 tattoo. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. Okay, down there is not as bad. Down there. Oh, that, that sucks right there. Okay. Stefan's like, you're such a pussy. It's fine. For who? For me. What's the bag for? The blue bag. <laughs> On the back of the gun. Oh, it's just to keep everything clean. It's for uh, sanitation, Grant. Uh, <laughs> sanitation. <laughs> Is that already stated? Yeah. Heard. I think I've, I think I'm just at a low patience level because I'm It's like it's like when you you know when you have a hangnail and you pull it and the skin comes off and it like goes down description. yourself. I never thought of that. That's what that feels like uh, right there. And you're like you know you don't want to pull anymore, <laughs> but you have to otherwise it's just gonna be there. That's what that's like. But it looks like we're almost done. <laughs> feels like a hangnail. Still want it filled in or no? I think so. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. I don't know. Let me look at it when it's done. It's already almost done. The outline. Uh, I can't wait for people to be like, what a bitch. <laughs> they post pictures of their entire fucking body. You tattoos. haven't squealed yet, so. I'm about to be at that point. Ow. That was great. That was so good. Just drink some more whiskey, dude. The closer it is to the nail, the better. It was as good as I can get it with how much he's moving. <laughs> it's like a black scribble mark. It's, it's as good as it gets, all right? This is a donkey now at this point. <laughs> it's a camel and it's beautiful. I think it used to have a tail, but it rubbed off over its nose. Like yeah, so I just went off whatever you had. So. Perfect. Okay. So Tailless camel. Whew. First things first, I have my camel back. That's important. <laughs> you trying to see what it looks like? Yeah. Okay. Welcome. Uh, so. All right. I think I want to do the shading. I think I want to do the shading, but wouldn't that fuck up the leg right here? It. I mean, it would just look like, I think, like two legs. No matter. Like we'll just fill like it a in. silhouette. Yeah. Do you have different colors, or do you just have black? Black. Black. We just leave it as is. You're still getting your it wherever you want that. By the way, is my right ass cheek off the off off the? No. Well, what have to do then? All right, I'm gonna keep the camel. All right, we're not gonna fill it in. Well, I mean, you can't take the camel off. So. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I undo this? Uh, we're gonna keep it. Touche. I decided That's to keep a good it. Point. All right, so we'll keep the camel. Uh, you're it. How does that how does that work out? So you have to write it I'll on something, write or it. you write it on yourself. Uh, oh, mine. I thought we were doing yours first. Are we doing mine first? That would probably make sense since you're all set up, huh? Yeah. Ready to go. I mean, because all I got to do for you is, like, I'll give you gloves. I'm going to fill in my cup and grab my needle. I am so interested in how this works. Okay. All right. Where um, am I writing your rate at? In your chest? Maybe we should ask uh, my, my fiance. The lady, the lady where, in charge. Where is your it going on my body? And is above my right eyebrow or my right ass cheek acceptable? I'm trying to see if it's within like Can it be hidden within <laughs> like a shirt or leg? Like if I did it on like his by his nipple or something. I don't know if I would want it done on my nipple. Not on the nipple. <laughs> by the nipple. You should make the um the dot for the eye the Around nipple. You're it. Wait, what? The dot for the eye, the nipple. How fucking big do you think this tattoo is going to be? I don't know. How big enough. is your nipple? 
<laughs> I mean, I don't think it's that big. Is it big enough? I kind of, I have, I have sad nipples. They, they slant. <laughs> oh, like a sad, <laughs> like a sad time, anime or something. They, yeah, they just. You know what I mean? They just kind of. Mm. <sighs> She's evil. Yeah. That would probably hurt, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Because it's gonna hurt. How bad? I don't know. I don't have my belly button tattooed. What do you not have tattooed? Well, okay, we're good at that. Uh, mm -hmm. That's too much hair. That's way too much hair. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I did shave my chest. Listen. Not not correlating with <laughs> today's tattoo uh, fun, but I don't know where it, it, we should get it. Let's do... Um, am I going to be able to sit after if I get it on my ass cheek? Yeah, if I get it, if I put it like in the top of your ass cheek, like by your lower back. I don't want a fucking tramp stamp. No, it'll be below the, above the cheek, right in between. Like, it's not visible with like underwear on. But you're not, You do you sit on your upper butt cheek? Like, how, how bad do you sit? <laughs> I'm talking like right, let's say like right, like right here. Yeah, that's fine, you'll be fine. I gotta be honest with you, there's probably too much hair for that too. Okay, well then... On your I just ankle, thought about that. On your yeah. ankle? Like, I don't know. I'm not getting something on my ankle. Willie right, has a... Right. Uh, there's probably a razor in there. All right. That's got to suck. Yeah, but... All right. What's up, dog? Well, how about this? Let's start with this. How about just write your eight on my knee? There we go. Mm. Start with that. All right. Just right under the devil dog? On top of the... It's a cat. That's a fucking cat. That's a cat? That's a cat. Does that look like a dog? Dog. Kind of looks like a chihuahua. <laughs> it's a cat dog. I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting chihuahua from it. It's a cat. Okay. It's one of those hairless it can be whatever cats. you want it to be, I guess. Yeah, no. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so why? Well, do you want me to spell it like I know how to spell it, or like you spelled it? How the the cleaning lady spelled Correct. it. Correct. Well, you can you can spell it like be that. funnier. <laughs> yeah, you can spell it like that. I don't care. Why so little? You want it big? You have all of this. Figure it out. Well, you can't erase pen. I guess you could. <laughs> it's on you forever, dude. You can't erase it. What if the other tattoo came off? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at that. Erased. Oh, it hurts so much. Fuck you. I thought we were doing it the way I spelled it on your bed. Well, it's cool because there's a nice little apostrophe right there. <laughs> you know, what I mean? it kind of—it's it, already there. Okay. I'd rather just do it like that. Okay. It means Let's more. Do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The child write it. Yeah, I have chicken scratch handwriting. I almost want to put it on my fridge. You know, that's how cute it is. Like, look at the spacing in all of this. It's all touching. Is it cursive? Is this cursive? It's uh, chicken scratch. Jesus fuck, bro. Yeah, it originated in uh, 1995. Um, Dear Lord. All right, so. We don't have. Now you're making me self conscious about. about <laughs> hey, you wrote it, and I will tattoo it as fucked up as you drew it. Because you did it. And that's fine with me. I don't care. Now, where do you want? Because I'm going to write it on you. Okay. And tattoo it. All right, let's do. I'll make you a, a thing right now. So if I get it on my right or left arm, mm -hmm. I want, in the future, you to come up with other designs around it that are straight Stephen Clover so that I can showcase that along with other art around it. For the Because I don't really want anything on my arms until, like, my sleeve. Mm -hmm. But being that it would be the first one on my arm. Yeah. All right. On the arm? On the arm. Right here? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. Cool. Just like that. Okay. All right, cool. We're so we'll this. bang yours out first, and then we'll do mine. All right. All right, cool. Let's level up. So now you know this, this is fucking crazy, right? Yeah, it's fun. I love it. So we're going to use a nine for this one. What the fuck does that mean? The nine liner. We're not using the little one. Okay. We're using the other one. 
Okay, good. The thick, the thick boy. The thick bitch. The thick boy, huh? The thick bitch. Who's boy. going first? He is. So you can cry and get it all out of the way. Oh god. Bring it up whenever you're ready. Oh boy, this is uh, this is forever right here. Forever. Is it okay that it's over like my my veins and shit? Yeah. Okay. Fine. All right. <laughs> Just started fucking profusely Just bleeding. <laughs> Oh boy. Which one? Her. Perfect. Here we go. That one sucks more. Yeah, it does. Ooh, I kind of like it though. I don't think it's as bad because it doesn't feel like I'm ripping a fucking nail off. Yeah, the the sore is not worse. The what? The tongue. Yeah, that's. Does this feel sucks. better? It does. It doesn't feel great. It doesn't hurt nearly as bad. This is real. <laughs> oh yes. It's happening. Grant, why didn't you get a tattoo? Because, dude, I don't want to fucking your it on my arm right now. Well, you wouldn't get your it. <laughs> <laughs> you would have gotten anal beads. <laughs> and it's not as bad. Like, would I get really sick and tired of this feeling after a while? Absolutely. I think, like, two hours people's, like, Average max, and after that they need to take a break, or that's when the pain starts to set in again. I think when my grandmother watches this, she's gonna be very upset with me. <laughs> Tyla, Tyla, I can't believe you got a tattoo. You know it's permanent. You know it's permanent. You know it's forever. Hey, bro, what's your Instagram uh, name? The tattoo one's Kluver twenty seven. Kluver twenty seven. Yeah. The conversation will probably be something along the lines of, you did that? Yeah. Okay. And you're okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Right. And you know it's forever? Yeah. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Holy shit. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. What started as a stupid fucking game is now solidified on my body forever. Yeah. Great. <laughs> All, right. All right. That's dope, though, if All you think right. about it. So how do I best go about not fucking this up? Don't rub it on dirt. Start there. I love don't, rolling in dirt. Don't like have a homeless guy spit on it. Those are two of my favorite things to do. Put a little unscented lotion on it. You'll be fine. Heard that. All right. The fun part's doing mine. Oh, boy. All right. For the record. I am so nervous about this. I can't even tell you. All right. So I'll give you the rundown. And as I'm doing it, you're going to But here, let me, let me adjust your... Uh, yours real quick because I see how you did mine and I can probably and how pretty I made it yeah yeah but it I'm see, not an artist here's the thing, I'm a musician like, it doesn't need to be pretty it needs to be who you are to me right and okay. you're a cute little mess so my libido says that's it's the way it is you think okay that's first attempt it doesn't need to be cool like this is this. Like, I don't All give right, a fuck I love it what you wrote is what goes on I'm here Let's for it, it. Okay, so you're going to do the first part. I'm just going to do the most bold part of the entire <laughs> tattoo. The it. That's going to hurt so much. <laughs> There's no way you know, like, needle death for it. Does the camera see what, how bold the it is? I think this is the first uh, interactive podcast that we've done <laughs> where we're moving cameras and shit. It's very dangerous when you bring a tattoo <clears throat> machine into a group of people because anything can happen and then anything's permanent at that right, point. First things first, hold this okay. <laughs> with, with your right hand. Just your right, right. right hand. <laughs> He's like, it's very dangerous. So for that's a as much machine. as your like what you're feeling, right? Mm -hmm. So the idea is, got like a pencil, and then hold it at a 45 as you come down to the skin. Okay. Okay. You're literally going to do the eye, or maybe I'll just have you do the T because the eye looks real thick and painful. <laughs> so you're gonna do the T mm -hmm. and the exclamation mark. What? Just let me do the let me do the T and the exclamation mark, and then we'll go back to the eye if I don't suck. Uh. Okay. That's fine. 
That's fine. That's cool. Yeah. All right. I'm okay. Everything's okay. All right, cool. Okay. So I'll start with a your part, and then you can finish it off. So for everyone who's going to write anything in the comments, I did. So this is a different cup of ink, different cream. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we're not, we're not sharing needles. That's, no. that's not Why nice. not? Sharing is caring. Oh, boy. So once I put this on, don't touch anything else. Oh, these are my gloves? Yeah. Okay. I hated putting gloves on when I worked in a restaurant, and I hate putting gloves on now. Yeah, but this is for a different purpose. You know, maybe the rings can come off. Nah, they don't ever come off. They don't ever come off? They, they come off. They come Are you sure? Okay. Just a little bit. It's so weird watching someone tattoo themselves. Do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, here, Grant, check this out. How many of your own tattoos do you have? Huh? How many tattoos that you've done yourself? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. Nine. Mostly on my leg, one on my wrist. It's like a cover up. You did this one right here? Mm -hmm. That had to have been a. You were just sitting like this the whole time? I cramped that. At one point, I thought it dislocated one of my ribs. Ugh. That like I was so bent looks this like way. A and one rib is just totally out of place completely. Fuck all that. Okay, so I just want to get one thing clear, uh, and not to not to make you concerned about how the rest of it's going to go. I don't jab it into your skin, right? Nope. Perfect. Nice I and light. I adjust the needle depth to where you can literally just put the plastic on the skin, and it'll be going deep enough to where you cannot physically fuck up. Oh. Okay. You want to tell the people while I do this the story of your poops that drop out and how much fun. I had thought about it when we were talking about music for a brief moment, uh -huh. uh, but I guess that kind of explains our relationship. So Grant, this motherfucker over here, this was my homie, is my homie, but was my homie working at, at, at the store, and nobody in that building liked when the music was loud in the bathrooms, which if you're asking me- Like guests or like employees? Uh, employees. Why? Because it's a small area. The restroom and it reverberates and it's loud. But if you're asking me, the restroom needs to be the loudest part of a restaurant. I love that, dude. Because I love taking a shit when uh, Aerosmith is playing exactly. or something like that. Absolutely. So it's very, very low, and your boy has to go. It, this isn't the only bathroom story I have, no. by the way. But I text him. I'm like, "Hey, man, it's it's not good. Do me a favor and turn up the volume." And I don't, I don't get a text back or I don't get anything for like two minutes. And then all of a sudden he's like, got you, boo. Music muted. No music in the entire restroom. <laughs> and I'm, ho I'm, I'm, holding, I'm holding on for dear life. Well, so actually, it's a little warped. So what happened was I text, he texted me and I was like, I got you. I was like, I'll pause the music in, in three. When I say go, let it rip. He's like, oh, I. So... I wait for a second I'm, and if I can get to the place to meet the music, but I'm standing by. I'm like, all right, I'm going to turn up the music now. Go. And once he said, okay, I muted, which I'm assuming is when he fully released <laughs> everything <laughs> that was held up there. And it, 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 it wasn't good. And then another, another time, uh, I would always use the, uh, the handicapped stall because that's the throne. That's bigger. the most comfortable it's spot. It's no one could see his little feet go like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, because he's like, is the child the family services in there too? So he likes to sit on top of so that. So I get a text from uh, him and another manager, and and they're like, "Hey, are you are you in the the big stall right now?" I'm like, "Yeah, that, I'm in the office. What do you need?" They're like, "Hey, someone in a wheelchair just came out incredibly <laughs> angry, and." Like, they need to use the restroom very, very bad, and, and they're mad that someone's in there. And I'm like, oh, shit. That's so I give it a second, I'm and I'm like trying yeah, to he's listen. texting me. He's like, are you for real? Are you for real? And I'm like, yeah, man. This guy just comes in. like, I really use the bathroom. Do you know if somebody's in there that's <laughs> handicapped, or is it just someone that wants to be in there? I give it a second because I'm trying to listen for, like, if they came back in or if, like, I can hear a wheelchair or whatever. And finally, hear like, a wheelchair. So I uh, finish up as quickly as possible run out of the restroom as quickly as I possibly can so that I can be avoid being seen by this wheelchaired individual because I am obviously not in a wheelchair and I don't obviously need that stall. 
as soon as I run out, I just see him and the other manager dying laughing. <laughs> and I still had to go. <laughs> he pinched it just to leave the restaurant. <laughs> And Perry Dog and, and both uh, the manager and I are just dying. When he walks, he's red. He's uncomfortable. He's sweating. He's pink. And there's no guy <laughs> on wheel. Yeah, he, there's no guy in the wheelchair. I just fucking made it all out to get him out. Uh, I was pissed. And, uh, he was waiting about an hour and a half to use this restroom because he had come up to me. He's like, "I need to use the bathroom." I'm like, "All right, get it." He's like, oh, "I'm busy. Hold on, but I'll let you know when I go so you can wash the floor." I'm like, "Okay." He finally goes after waiting almost two hours. Fucking hey, he's like, hey, pinch it. There's a handicapped guy. <laughs> but there's times that you've ca- there's times that you've come on through when uh, ran out of toilet paper. Yeah. In like a Saturday night, mm-hmm. so I'm like, hey, dude, I don't know what's going on, but I need you to pull a homie move. I got you, boo. Yeah. <laughs> got I have to boo. add confidence to the neck and taking away. Yeah, man. Yeah, just build them up so you can bring just them down. Crush them. Yeah, that's the best part. I don't, I think that was the one. No, the time with the sound was the one time that I laughed so hard I was on the floor crying <laughs> in the middle. Ironically, of the he shit himself uh, yeah, right there. Couldn't get that. for real. No. <laughs> uh. Are you ready? Yeah, I have a little Tyler juice. Is that okay? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm so nervous for this. Okay, you didn't do the e. Oh, you that you didn't do that on purpose. Yeah. Great. Now every time you show this off to someone, they're gonna be like, "Yeah, Ty- you're gonna say Tyler did this," and they're gonna be like, "Oh, so he doesn't know how to spell your." Yeah. Do you like a pencil? Oh, okay. Shit. I'm going to climb up the skin for you. So all you're doing at an angle is just go in here. At an angle? Yeah. Okay. Well, use two hands. Use one hand to grab the, the okay. leg, right? And start at the exclamation mark. You're not doing the T. Okay. I've already adjusted the needle. Yep. You're not even in the skin, bro. I need to press all the way into the plastics on my skin. There we go. Now pull. Press down more. There you go. Squeeze down. And let's see how you did. I missed a spot. Close enough. There you go. <laughs> it's looking like a real caterpillar. And that's the dot. You can't you cannot fuck this up. <laughs> It's literally a dot. Fucks it up. Can't I even did put fuck the dot. it up. It's not big enough. Yeah. Well, then fucking add more. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just in there. Just swirl it around. Cool. I, I think I fucked up the dot. The one thing that is impossible to fuck up, leave that to me to do. You want to do the T? Yeah, dude. So get some more ink. Okay. Do I just dip it in? Mm hmm. Not all the way in. A little dab will do ya. All right. So if you can see the needle, watch the depth. And now you're finally in the skin. Yeah. Now slide up. Am I inside of you? Mm-hmm. You are successfully inside of me. <laughs> we have gingerly touched tips. Well, he's definitely touching with my tip. Damn. Nailed it. Done. Good job. All right. Throw that on my resume. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Successful. You Look ready? at that. Boom. Damn. Perfect, dude. You want to see like this a, fucking mess? Mine looks like <laughs> a grader did it. Right there. It's scribbled uh, in. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Well, that was very exhilarating. Thank you for that. Thank you. So... We have discussed your tattoo life, your endeavors, your passion for it. Mm-hmm. Um, we've discussed your hobby of cars. Mm-hmm. Is that still a thing? Uh, yeah, I'm building the car right now. You are? Yeah, I have parts, but I gotta. I don't put it together until I have everything. Because I don't see a half ass. What like kind of car? Uh, the FRS, the Scion. Is that the one you brought? Uh, mm-hmm. Cool. The one that's outside. Uh, and so... What does the career of Stephen Kluther look like? Um, currently, in five well, years. In five years, the goal is to be in Europe, live in Europe. Oh, oh no shit! Some of the biggest, like some of the best neo-traditional artists, like what I 
would I like to inspire to be live in Spain, uh, some of them in Germany. So if I can live in England and hop around to Spain, because in Europe, the market for tattoos is different than here. Like they, everybody goes for high quality. And if mm -hmm. I can put kind of work out like that and get full day sessions, I'm probably going to fit way better that way. So you would go to Europe because that's kind of like being an, an actor and going to L.A.? Yeah, in a, in, a, in a way. I also want to experience the European lifestyle of living. I've been there multiple times, and every time I'm there, I have amazing time just enjoying the way people live there, mm -hmm. you know? I think more breaking, carefree. Yeah, more, less, how do I put this? Less American. Mm -hmm. Americans have their own way of living and, and mindset and everything else. So I'm like, if I can stray away from that for a little bit. And the way I grew up in Peru was... I, th I thought were fantastic, you know? I didn't leave there on my own terms. Going back, I was already way too Americanized to kind of set in again when I was going to school. So I didn't do it, but now if I can like go to Europe and experience something else, that'd be cool. Who are some of your favorite tattoo artists? Um, one of the local ones that I really like is um, Aaron Riddle. He has his own private studio. He does neo-traditional style. And I've been following him for Fuck, like six years now. It's a very long time. And then he ended up working at the shop that I go to get tattooed for a little bit. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get tattooed by him just yet. But I will. Hmm. One day. One day. Yeah, there's this... Um, can't think of his name right now. He's in Spain. Ben Benos? Benzone Tattoos or something like that? He does really cool work. A lot of his work is... Uh, I look at it as inspiration. I'm like, fuck, if I could put out work like that, then I'm set. I yeah. could be sick. So I obviously... I want you to do your piece on me who would you recommend for me um to do like i want sacred geometry mm -hmm. on one side and then i want like cyborg looking shit on i the know other. there's one girl in scottsdale who does really good geometry i know i saw her at a tattoo convention a few years ago i don't know if she's hopped around shops i can't remember her name stephanie something I don't know, say mm. Lindsay, maybe no let's hope she sees this video but <laughs> Yeah, I fuck it. Maybe th neither of those names could be accurate. Yeah. She could mm. be an Ashley for all I care. <laughs> but she did some dope shit. Yeah. So really it's I'll just shopping shop around. around. Yeah, you, you don't you shop around for the artist. And then you don't the thing with tattoos is if you want really good work, like really, really good work, you find the artist and their style and then just let them do what your idea is. is don't specifically tell them that? to Is huh? there like an etiquette thing with that? Like as a tattoo artist, if someone's like, Oh no, not like that, you're like Hey, no, let me no, because at the end of the day, it is your body, and I respect your opinion. Whatever you're gonna get on your body for the rest of your life, I am. I provide the artwork. You guide me as to what you want. You know, if I can come cl as close to, then fantastic. And if I can't, then well, it is what it is, and you go to the next person that can do it. Whatever. But if we're in a position where I've drawn it ten times, right, and I've done everything you want me to do, perfectly, and you're like, well, actually, can you adjust this? Can you just, uh, actually? I don't like this. And I'm like, so you don't want a tattoo, period. Because you sat there for three, four hours contemplating this thing that you're not fully set. When I get a tattoo, I'm like, I have this idea. Hey, Tyler, draw this idea. And I've already chosen him because I like his artwork. And whatever he draws, I'm going to be okay with, hmm. regardless, before seeing it. That's why when I went to get my chest done, I was like, yo, this is what I want. He didn't pre-draw it. He drew it on me. And I was like, cool. And then we did it. If anything, that just makes the artist more comfortable, huh? More excited, too. Like, it's, at the end of the day, it's like, what is it that you want to put out? You know, what kind of quality, what quality work you want to put out? And when someone's, I've done pieces that I may not have been 100% excited on because it's not what I want to draw. But I'll give it my best because it's my client. And I'm like, yeah, I want you to be happy with what you're walking away with. But the, you can tell. Huh? I'm just looking. At, I'm excited about this. This is this is. Yeah, I keep looking down. I feel like I have a child. I just. <laughs> but I think I definitely got the better end of the deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm my my scar really bad and like create a mountain of blood, but it's okay. It's all right. I'll be. I might get an infection and die. I've had worse. Good. I've had worse. That's good. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. good. I, I but, just for the record, hope that does not happen. No, no, I know how to take care of my own tattoos. Perfect. It'll be fine. But you can tell in my work, like the ones that I'm super excited on just come out 
a tiny bit better. Yeah. Yeah. The product is a little. And better. are those ones where you kind of have your like free agency to kind of yeah create they, on? They, they give me an idea. The they give me a few three to four pictures. I feel like, like this is what we like. Yeah. If I got a tattoo, that would be like important for me. It would be for the artist to be, if not more comfortable yeah. than I am. You know, it's like my, dude, just go for it. Right. My last artist, Mike Claypool. He lives in Oregon now. He did the full sleeve on the right, except for like four pieces. And the the normal was I would just show up to the shop. I'm like, "What do you got ready?" And he's like, "Oh, I got these few pieces." I'm like, "What do you What do you want to do the most?" He said, "This one." I'm like, "Cool, let's do it." It was usually like I never had a specific thing that I yeah. wanted him to do. He just wanted him to do it. Whatever he wanted to do, mm-hmm. yeah. he would look at my arm like, "It'd be dope if we added this." I'm like. Do it. And he just do it. So then the, this is the arm is cu- has come about of me just showing up and being like, what do you want? I like tattoo? the dot work. I yeah. think dot work is I, I, I don't filler. see it as often. The fillers. Yeah. Yeah. But so I like what it. you see is often it's a lot smaller, like super small. And the problem with that is it creates it takes away from the art pieces that are there, like the individual pieces, because you're just filling in your arm. But mm-hmm. if it's super small to my idea is it like mushes it it's like white it's noise almost yeah exactly too much i like the way he did it because it fills up my arm yeah but it doesn't stray away from each individual piece if well, anything, you have it the stars too and I yeah think that it, that it, kinda, it, it breaks it up that's a traditional filler an american tradition filler is stars and dots mm. right it's called biker dust is what they call it huh? biker dust biker it's called the bikers they all had american sleeves and yeah have that shit everywhere so yeah hmm. i mean even my elbow I have not been to prison, but he was like, you want spider web? I'm like, sure. <laughs> and technically the spider was like, how many years? Or oh, no way. I, don't, I really? don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah. Never knew that. Yeah, there's a bunch of prison tattoos that mean little things. Yeah. And the spider web's like each loop around. It's like how What are some things people should avoid getting because they don't know that it's actually a prison term? Um, I don't know. Oh, don't get um the four leaf clover or three leaf clover or whatever. Because if you go to prison, like I, I read this, like I saw this in a documentary. The Aryan group, or the white group, or whatever, will fuck you up. Really? Yeah, because you can only have that if you're part of their group. So if you get it tattooed and you show up to prison, they'll be like, "Oh yeah," but and it, then smack you. But it's it's the four leaf clover is for luck. The, yeah. It's, or the three leaf. Four I, leaf. For something about being Irish, yeah. and them being gotcha. whatever it may be, yeah. So that would be even, so even shitty. Lucky even if to yeah. you it means that your father died and and you guys had this bond through a three uh, leaf clover and it means uh, the world to you. That would be so shitty. You get to prison, you're like telling your new buddies, you're like, check out my new three leaf clover. They're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. And the fuck is that? Like, what did you do? <laughs> right. And then there's gonna be some people listening to this podcast that are like, is it three or four leaf? <laughs> I need to know. Look it up. I have it's a three and a half one. Netflix or YouTube, one of the two. Just stay tattoos. safe and have a two leaf clover. <laughs> no, um, what other ones that you know of? Not really. I didn't do my research in prison tattoos because I don't plan on going. So, well, I'm sure. Oh, definitely. Like, that. if I were to show up, somebody would say something about my elbow. Okay. The yeah. spider web. Yeah. So technically, how many rings you have is how many? I don't know if it's a year or like a decade. How many decades you've done? Jesus, you've been in for long mm-hmm. thirty. You've been in 30? for five 30, decades. 30 years. 30 years <laughs> yeah. Three loops, one, two, three. Oh, four. Oh, 40 loops. 40 years. 40 years I've been in prison. Well, or Stefan, uh, I, I, I appreciate you coming on this podcast and giving mm-hmm. a, me the opportunity to do something I otherwise never would have. Um, yeah. And I think it's been an awesome conversation. Is there anything that we haven't touched on that you want to get out to people? Let them know about where you're at, uh, what you do, what you're what you're. No, about. just having fun, honestly. Like, being able to put art. I think my biggest thing for the reason why I've chosen my professionals, everything comes down to just making people happy. You know, the reason why I got into food was because anytime my brother and I fought and it was dinner time, he would not be angry because he's eating. When you eat, you automatically get happy, which is why I became a chef. Because I'm like, if I can make my brother happy by feeding him, hmm. success. Because we don't get along well. We're okay now, but yeah. for the most part, we didn't. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. So <laughs> so then we, and I'm here instead of over there. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's mad at me. Oh, boy. And, no, and, and so that's why I got into food. And then for art, it's one of those things where people are very self-conscious, right? They're, 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 bigger, like they're they the biggest are. credit with their body. Mm-hmm. And I know that anytime I get a tattoo, I'm the most confident with my body, you know? 
So if people get tattoos to be able to show themselves off and be excited and proud of themselves, then I'm glad to be a part of that. I'm glad to give you something that makes you happier with yourself for the week or month or for however long it lasts. And if it's something that for the rest of your life, you're like, check this shit out, you know? Right. And, and you're one to flaunt yourself, then fuck yeah, I'm That's down. It's a beautiful perspective. Yeah. Hell yeah. I love so that. even if at the end of the day, I don't become rich or famous from this, I don't give a damn. If people walk out smiling and they're like, thank you. I'm like, yeah, anytime. So. Nice, man. Well, thank you. Steph, where can we find you? Uh, you can go on Instagram at Kluver27. That's K-L-U-V-E-R-27. And no, it's not K-Lover. For everybody, <laughs> so many that's, people. That's a, that's, a like that's a reoccurring before. thing. That's a reoccurring thing. That's a reoccurring thing. It's my last name. It's not yeah. fucking K dash. Like, Dude, one. it's one word. All right. right, it's all together. My my name is on the bio. Fucking Stephen Kluber. Yeah. Like, you can't. In that an alternate all... universe, I ask him the same question: Is there anything you want people to know about you? Whatever. My name isn't K Lover. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fucking K. Yeah. So, so that's that. Uh, you can reach me through there, and we can book something. And oh yeah, get, done. So get her done. Yeah, that's it. Well, nice. I look forward to having you on again and maybe in a couple months or, or whenever you feel comfortable doing something bigger on me and we Absolutely. have an idea developed. Well, sounds like a good again. time. Thank you, boys, for having me. Thank Absolutely, you, sir. Brother. Right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good one.